putting an irrigation system in, saw the water spraying all over the place and thought, why can't I just spray water on a sheet? So he basically went in his house, took a Lego Mindstorm kit, and built the first head, and we still have it in our office. And it's got a single nozzle, it's got gears inside of it with a ball valve, and it'll track a shape. The problem is, your precipitation wasn't any good, because you had a single nozzle spraying in and out, precipitation rates weren't any good. What he realized is what he had to do was create a new nozzle. So he break, broke up to get even precipitation. We get 14 different nozzles. Each of those streams volume matches the surface area that it's hitting. So if you notice here, as it's spraying out, those stream volumes vary according to what surface area there is. It gets smaller as it comes in. That's half of what makes the system work. Is that nozzle? That's a bad nozzle. The other half that makes it work is the algorithm in the system that speeds up and slows down the rotation depending on the surface area it's covering. So if you'll notice, it's ahead of spraying a long ways. It's going kind of slow. When it comes down here, it's going to actually speed up. That's because the surface area is getting smaller. The best example I can give to you is you have an inkjet printer at home. You ever printed a picture? And you watch the paper, it'll go fast, and then it'll slow down as the things are going back and forth. That's exactly what our head does. As more water is needed, it slows down the rotation. Every 0.8 degrees, it calculates how much surface area there is and dwells just long enough to put down the right amount of water in that surface area. Then it moves on.